Hello everyone, welcome to my August Makes vlog. First thing I'd like to say is thank you so much for the comments on the giveaway vlog and also on my blog. At the very end of the vlog we will have the, the winner announced and the, the draw, so stay tuned for that. The other thing I'd like to thank you all for is subscribing to my channel. I've now gone over a thousand subscribers, so that's amazing. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so, so happy. Yeah, it's brill. Okay, so this month's makes might be quite a quick video just because a couple of them I can't show you because they were makes for other people. First thing I made was Simplicity 8228. So this was a collaboration between Madeline of madeline.com and I made the bralette. Um, many of you will have seen this on Instagram or on my blog if you if you went there to have a look. I'm obviously not going to model it for the video. This is the finished version and um, I really like how it turned out. It was fairly simple and straightforward to make considering it was the first time I'd worked with lingerie and and stretch laces and power net and pico elastic and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. A lot of the questions I've been getting on the blog post that I wrote about it is does it provide much support? Well, no, not really. It's a soft bra, there's no underwire in there. Um, it's just, if I turn it inside out, it's just a mesh on the inside. There's a little bit of support just by virtue of the fact that it's, you know, a bit of stretchiness, but it doesn't offer the kind of support that you would get with a supportive bra. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, this isn't quite the right pattern. There are a lot of underwire based bras out there that would be right. And actually Madeline does another one which is 8229 which is the underwire one. Unfortunately this pattern isn't available in the UK yet. It is available in the US but as far as I can tell it isn't available in the UK. The next one was this selfless sewing project, Colette Manetta. For my sister and I made it in different coloured stripes with flowers on um, from Girl Charlie UK and since it's already gone I've posted it and my sister's worn it on her holiday and everything there should be some pictures coming up now to show you how all of that turned out. I made the sleeveless version but without the collar. The only tricky bit was was the stripe matching we really, so that was a really nice nice make. And if you've not tried Minetta, then I, I definitely would recommend it. The next one is also a selfless sewing task. So you'll be happy to hear, or certainly I am happy to, uh -huh. that I finished the McCall 7330. So this was the jumpsuit that I talked about a lot. Um, and I finally finished and gave it to the lady, my friend at work. And again, there should be a photo pop up in the background I ended up putting snaps down the front and, and concealing that within the actual button band itself, within the placket, um, so they are hidden. Um, and yeah, everything turned out pretty pretty good actually, and she seems to like it, so that's good, that's good news. On to two makes that were for me. So the first one is the one that I'm wearing, and actually what you might notice is that I chose to make it with the Von Trapp so over it fabric. In fact, the majority of you chose the blue viscose, but since I'd already used that fabric on something else and we were coming into autumn, I really wanted to go with something a little bit different, a little bit unusual, so um, I opted for this one. N new look, I was going to say Nicole's, just, just you know, new look on Nicole's, put them together, Nicole's, okay, well anyway. This is New Look 6346, and I made, well, I went with view A to begin with, so let's just move my finger to get the camera to focus on that. But actually I went somewhere in between the midi length A and the mini length B, so I actually took six inches, roughly, off view A. There's self-covered buttons down the front, uh, there's side seams and a back seam as well. I could have used snaps or fake buttons and put an invisible zip down the back, but I decided not to do that. I made the smallest size, and actually there's a lot of 
give and stretch in this fabric so I ended up taking oh I don't know if it was something like two or something inches around the waist um, all together and it's actually the pattern that I took to the sewing weekend I finished when I got back but I, I sewed a good amount of it there there's something about it I don't quite like and I can't decide what it is I don't know whether it's just the length is still just slightly too long whether it needs to just come up a tiny bit, I'm not sure. It's also a bit gapy here, just because the the fabric is so stretchy, and my machine doesn't like doing buttonholes. Um, it's it's very rapidly making me want to upgrade to a machine that handles them better. Um, the only other thing I would say about it is the fabric's really nice, but I would have liked to have at least underlined it, maybe perhaps lined it. Um, I know that Lisa Comfort of some over it used it to make a pencil skirt and she said it didn't need to be lined but I have very sensitive skin so actually it's quite it's quite rough but if you were walking around a lot all day it would be rubbing against your skin. So. On to my final make which was completely unplanned so I'll be right back. Yes so here we are last but by no means least is the Dear and Doe Melilo, I think that's probably how I would pronounce it. So it's it's a shirt, it's a fairly loose fitting shirt with kimono style sleeves, a very loose sleeve, but does have a shoulder seam down the side here. I made this using some Atelier Brunette viscose and I freaking love it, it's so nice. I added snaps down the front and I went with version B, so this is this is the version that I went for, um, and it's basically my new favourite. Try not to wear it every single day. I went with a 36 in the bust and the waist, and graded to a 40 in the hips. I could probably get away with probably even a 36 all round because there's, there's still quite a bit there. There's something in the sleeve area that makes it look a bit loose maybe, but it's so comfortable. Really, really love it. Um, and this fabric is amazing. Um, and it was a really, really nice pattern to sew as well. I suppose because I challenge myself quite a lot these days with sewing, or I try to, it was nice to do something that was very doable. It was a real pleasure to sew. You can find out more details on the blog, so I'll pop a lim link in the description down below. Those are all my makes for August. Fairly productive month, so I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. The prize is the Great British Sewing Bee from Stitch to Style. Let's just have another little look at it. I hope everyone's really excited. So, good luck to everyone. Time for the giveaway winner to be chosen. <clears throat> I realised that this wasn't going to be big enough um, after I'd folded them all up due to the overwhelming number of comments. So, thank you so much. So, introduce the mixing bowl. <laughs> So to give everyone a fair chance, I'm going to and I'm going to choose this one. So the winner is the Brooklyn Knit Folk Podcast. So congratulations Brooklyn Knit Folk Podcast. If you um, send me an email at gingerellaj at gmail.com then I'll organise um, that being sent to you. Speak to you soon. I'll be back with my September sewing plans, even though we're well into September already. Um, but I'll be back soon. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.